In this lesson, we'll discuss the relationship between the change in standard Gibbs's free energy and standard cell potential. The question reads, use tabulated electrode potentials to calculate delta G for the reaction shown underneath. Is the reaction spontaneous? The first thing that we want to do is separate this reaction into its two half reactions, oxidation and reduction. Notice that in our balanced chemical equation here, we have iodine forming two molecules of I minus. This has a oxidation state of zero. This has an oxidation state that is negative. The fact that it's becoming more negative means that this is the reduction half reaction. Reduction. Here, we're going from a negative molecule to one that is more positive. That's oxidation. So let's write that down. We have oxidation, where we have two bromine anions forming Br2 and we'll balance the charges in a moment. And the reduction reaction is I2 solid forming two I minus aqueous. To balance the charges, we can place, notice that this is a two minus charge on the left side. So we'll write down two electrons on this side. Over here, we have a two minus charge on the right side. So I'll write down two electrons on the left side. Once we've written down our half reactions, we can go ahead and find out the standard electrode potential for each of these reactions using this table. So the first one is 2Br minus. Let's see if we can find that here. Every textbook should have a table that looks like this, and it's found right there. It's positive 109. So I'll write down plus 109. For the reaction underneath, we have iodine, and that's found right here. 0 0.54. 0 0.54. From here we can determine the standard cell potential by using the following formula. The standard cell potential is equal to the standard electrode potential at the cathode minus that at the anode. Watch this. So at the cathode minus at the anode. So I'm going to subtract what's at the cathode and the cathode is always the reduction. So that is the cathode, and that is the anode. So at the cathode, we had 0 0.54 as its standard electrode potential, minus 1.09 volts. Subtracting these two numbers out, you should end up with 0 0.55 as a negative number. So that right there represents the standard cell potential for this reaction. To tell if this is spontaneous or not, we'll need to use the relationship shown here. As we've learned in the past, if delta G is positive, the reaction is not spontaneous. And the opposite is true if it's negative. So let's substitute what we know into this formula. We have delta G is equal to negative N. Negative N, or specifically N, is the number of moles of electrons that are canceled out. So if we look back at this reaction, two electrons were canceled out on both sides. So we have delta G is equal to negative two. F is a constant, it's 96,485 coulombs per one mole. And that's in moles. So right from the get-go, that cancels out. And in case you're also taking a physics class, the Faraday constant, the, one, the number that we're using here, is different than one farad. Remember, a farad is one coulomb per one volt. This is one coulomb per one mole. Anyway, let's continue. This now gets multiplied to E cell. And I've written down a relationship here that one volt is equal to one joule per coulomb. So I'm going to multiply this number now by 0 0.55 joule per coulomb. And this now cancels out, leaving us with joules, and that's how delta G is represented. Using our calculator, we need this number to two significant figures. So negative two times nine, six, four, eight, five times negative 0 0.55, and we end up with the following number. If we want this in kilojoules, we can divide this number now by 1,000, and that's easier to represent. So to two significant figures, this is 110 kilojoules. Delta G is positive, and as mentioned before, the reaction has to be non-spontaneous 
under standard conditions because a positive equates not spontaneous. If you would like to see the solution to this next question, simply leave a comment below and we'll gladly make you a video. Hope to hear from you soon.